Welcome back to my channel, The Machine Brain. Today, we will discuss about the architecture of typical data mining systems. Okay. Before going to such of uh, typical data mining system, let us discuss what is data mining and uh, need for data mining process. Okay. First, we already know what is data mining, right? It is a process of extracting knowledge from the large amount of data. The data, the data stores. Okay. The data source may be what? file systems, data stores, uh, databases, data warehouses, right? Okay. And it is useful for contribute lot of benefits for businessmen and individuals. Okay. This knowledge is useful for what? For whom? Businessmen and individuals. Okay. And this data mining process, it is also extract hidden patterns from data also. It can also extract hidden patterns from data from data also. For example, the data contains 2 d 2 gb 2 tb right from this uh, there are uh, important data which is used for analyzing and uh, relevant data for uh, data mining process right these uh, by using it can also extract these relevant data and uh, hidden patterns from the data also okay and date need for data mining okay first finding data information from database i well, don't you know it can find uh, it can find hidden in information from database okay next at extracting useful information relevant data and important data for a data mining process it can extract next automatic data analysis the data mining process can be done by automatic data analysis okay so, next we'll go the architecture of data mining how the process will be first here in this data mining process first you start from bottom to up okay here bottom data sources are www old wide web and database data warehouse and other data repositories okay these all data can be extracted from where from data sources like flat files crm and any excel sheets or os data etl okay ETL sources okay by using what ETL by using ETL tool it can extract and it can be stored in a data warehouse and uh, databases and other repositories WW okay after that after storing these data in, in this uh, database WW data warehouse and other repositories first we will do data cleaning integration and selection we already discussed the data cleaning integration and all and after doing this uh, this step will this data will be stored in a database server okay from this data where uh, database server go with data mining applications or engines it contains modul modules like um, classification clustering prediction all these algorithms and more mod um, modules algorithms will be contain this uh, data mining applications uh, and then go to pattern evaluation modules okay next user inter graphical user interface by this graphical user interface it interact with the user for uh, communicating between the sy systems and user okay data mining systems and user and then last front end we'll go with Front end. This knowledge base is it is uh, important for the these uh, data mining engines and it is used to guide the uh, search for the pattern patterns hidden patterns okay and it will interact with the pattern evaluation models and data mining engines and and also the from this knowledge base and inputs also extracted from this knowledge base for data mining process okay and we will discuss briefly about these steps okay first data sources here database ww and data warehouse are the part of data sources right and in this it is in the form of our plain text spreadsheet and other forms of medias like photos and videos we already know what is data sources so, okay next database ser database servers it contains actual data ready for the process ready for the process okay uh, 
for the data mining process the actual data will be contained into the this database servers okay and perform the task of handling data retrievals as per the request of the users as per the request of the users it can performs the it can performs the task okay this database servers and next data mining engines or data mining applications okay it is the core component of data mining architecture okay we already know it is the core component and it can performs the data mining techniques like i already told no? i already told association class question characterization clustering prediction these are all the modules and the algorithms involved in this data mining engines okay it can take uh, data from the database servers and it can performs these modules and algorithms okay next pattern evaluation model okay this is also responsible for finding the interesting patterns in the data the, the data contains what interesting patterns or hidden patterns it can also responsible for finding this data this uh, patterns in the data okay sometimes it can also interact with the database servers for producing the results of the user request okay sometimes these pattern evaluation model also interact with the da database servers for the user request okay and next user graphic graphic user interface okay since the user can't fully understand the com complexity of data mining for process okay the user uh, can't understand the complexities of data mining system so it interact it used to interact or communicate with the data mining systems also it helps us user to communicate with the data mining systems okay by using this gui next knowledge base we already discussed that knowledge base is the important process of data mining engine and it is used to guide the search search for the results of the patterns and it can also this data 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 mining engines uh, take inputs from this knowledge base also okay this um, the data which contains in the knowledge base it's extracted from the data data sources what is required as an user request okay that's all about the architecture of um, architecture of typical data mining systems and next we will discuss the types of data mining architecture and advantages and disadvantages of, of data architecture okay thank you